All right, folks, we are back at it. We are gonna have to do a little bit of the same. We're gonna just completely mash through that, finish up this one fender. Like we got this one pretty good. We gotta do similar to this one yet. Uh, yeah, a lot of the basics. Weld up this, add some strapping, trim this some more. Weld up these few bits. We got to planish out the front of the fender. You can see some pretty big dents and stuff in there yet. Make this hole look normal and try to get this whole section of the fender to look normal. So we'll do a bit of uh, hammer dolly, a little bit of planishing. We got to stretch and push things where they need to go here. Cause this is supposed to, this is the right shape. This part's just not following it whatsoever. So this, uh, hopefully we can get this to sit on this goofy stand long enough that <laughs> it'll work the right way. I can't say I noticed that there is that inner brace. We'll have to mirror this and put it on the other side because I don't, there's nothing on that one. On top of this one is missing the inner fender brace that that one has. So I guess the next time we take that off, we'll have to mirror that one, put it on here because somehow this will have to tie into the front. Yeah, I don't know. The goal is to get this done. We're gonna tear this grill apart and uh, start trying to straighten it out so it contours better to this fender. That is uh, my hopes and dreams here. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Well, anyways, I guess we'll start with this fender. Uh, I think first thing we'll do is we'll try to bang out the dents and straighten a few things and just start welding stuff.
that looks pretty good. I like it. We're sitting nice and centered. You can get a little bit back. I'm going to go by this here. We can go back a wee bit. The fender is a little out, like it's a little flatter. It's not as round as that one, so we can kind of fix that. That's not a big deal. I think I just pulled that one in. You can do the same on that side. I think the grill, though, we got to we got to pull that grill out. There's so much going on with it. It's in the next it's the next thing we got to deal with here. But yeah, I don't know. Everything looks good. I'm pretty happy with it. I think this one, I think the clip's got to come over a little bit. The uh, I don't know that things are centered here. It looks a little over this way. Yeah, you can see this is this grill's got to come up and over. So, ah, no biggie. We'll figure that part out first. We're gonna take this. We'll take the front grill off and start dismantling it to see how we can get into there. To uh, hmm, see, it's got these cool rivets. I guess those won't go back. <laughs> I want to get it to the loose shell, and then we can kind of. Then we can nicely planish or wheel or do something, get this all fixed up, get the, the mouth, the, the insert nice and filled, or nice and square. Don't want to goof with it too much, but... Yep, that'll be the next next thing. We'll kind of plop the fenders off to each side, and then uh, let's pop the grill out and start figuring, like start dismantling it. I think I'm going to set it up. So this is the lower insert. I'm going to take it apart. I'll get it off and then I'll show you what the plan is. Or I'll just do it. <laughs> I think I'll just do that. Hey pup, what do you think? What do you think? You don't care, eh? You don't care. Well, that came apart pretty nice. That is gonna make this much easier. It's kind of weird, these uh, rivets, they seem like they're just aluminum. I don't think they would have been pot or anything like that, but. So anyways, we're gonna grind a few of these down. Some of these have like a rib zerk almost. I think I'm gonna replace them because some of them are pretty buggered. But uh, 
Anyways, we're going to try to smooth this shape out. We're going to beat this with a hammer a little bit now that I can get in there. We'll try to get everything into a rough shape. We should be able to take it to the wheel after. Um, some of these grill things are a little, I don't know. I, I guess it's stock. I'm not 100% sure on that. We might just make it so, because they just fluff through some openings on there. So I might weld like some uh, flush nut, like some nuts flush into there, just so we can clean up this edge nice after. But uh, yeah, you can see there was some welding up onto here. We're not gonna go too much with that because we might add something into there. Pretty sure we're gonna add at least an inch. That's what I'm thinking anyways. Inch, maybe two, nah, just an inch. Sounds like a lot of work just for that, eh? That's just so we don't have to cut the hood as much kind of the goal there she is pretty rusty down here but there is no holes and still feels like really solid so anyways I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna pop all these rivets out I'm gonna beat this thing senseless for a little while and then we're gonna walk it through the English wheel and then we'll test fit and see how it fits with our fenders now Well, that straightened out like really well. Pretty happy with that. I got a funny feeling I got to do some modifying to those fenders. I think the DeSoto in this had some differences. I don't know. I probably will still run this to the wheel a little bit over here because this is still a little banged up, but most of this is actually super, super nice. It's a little bit right there that I found. 
down here is pretty rough. I gotta, I don't know if I'm gonna replace a lot of this or what I'm gonna do, but for now, I am just going to mock it up on there without the, the, well, actually, you know what? We can throw the inner guts in there so we can sit it where it's supposed to go and we can get a feel for where everything else is gonna go in here. Cause this can sit up here. I'll do a couple quarter inch bolts for now just to hold everything in place and then uh, we'll smash her in the car. looks pretty good we got a little chin down there it kind of splits there's a little bit of weird stuff going on I had to clamp this this needs to be twisted and you can see that this there's still some buggery going on here I mean I'm sure this is supposed to go in a little bit but there's too big of a gap there we got a lot of something going on because this side doesn't look as bad anyways we just got advice script on but it Looks like it fits good. I'm pretty happy with that. A little bit of a weird gap down there, but this side doesn't have it, so I think it can fall. It does, but it doesn't. So we'll probably fix that up when we're doing the the extension off the back. Other than that, looks pretty looks pretty smooth. Looks a lot better. I don't know if it's straight or not. Well, it's more or less. Well, that's not so bad, isn't it? I like it. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go have a little bit of supper. And then uh, we'll come back, tackle, try to fix this bottom up, fix this bit, do a little bit of rebuilding on the bottom. I don't know if I... This stuff's kind of hard to take off. I don't know how to take it off without wrecking it. I mean, it is a little wrecked down here anyways, but somebody's actually like wired it onto the car but we'll remove the ball because there's not much oh there you go see <laughs> it's already kind of half off on the bottom so we'll kind of fix up what we can down here and uh yeah we're man we're getting pretty close here eh? ah, front end is not too shabby i like it all right we'll be back <laughs>
Well, that's not too shabby. Still got to do a little bit of tweaking on the bottom of the two sides here. Here, not that it, that really that important. I think it just is what it is. I think once this gets bolted, this is all clean up nice. Maybe we'll just stick like everybody's saying a, a rag or one of those welting VW things, but I'm sure there's something else that has that. It can't be a vinyl thing. It's got to be rubber, I would imagine, but that sandwiches between the fender and the body. Maybe we do the same thing right here. Because that'll maybe fix up this ugliness there. I don't understand what's going on. I guess I got to bring this back anyways, so I might cut this and drop this so it follows the fender a little nicer. It's kind of looks like a complete afterthought. I don't understand what's happening there. Anyways, so we built a new chin. It's, uh, it's okay. I'm all right with it. Maybe the, the little differences that I made is what is missing right here. I don't know, but at least it's rebuilt. We haven't done, uh, I kind of fixed this side a little bit. I don't have any way to hold these on, so I'll have to figure that out. And I haven't fastened or done the studs through here for to hold the grill in yet. Uh, yeah, I don't know. The fender or the grill itself came out really nice. It looks rougher than it is, but I still haven't wheeled it yet. So I think once I bring it through the wheel, this is all going to clean up way nicer yet. Like this side's not terrible. Just that little bit here. I think if we walk it through the wheel quick, it should be good. Same here. I think that's, uh, that'll be the next plan. Oh, folks, that's not too bad. I think uh, we got a little bit left. To, well, we actually got a bunch left to do on the grill. Uh, I think our plan there is going to be, well, we have to make all the inserts. I don't know if I'm going to do that right now. We almost have to to get the grill finished, but I think I'm going to wait a bit to do that part. But we got to, seeing how these are like technically mounted, but hmm, still a little... She's a little outy there. We gotta fix that. But I think this is where that inner fender brace is supposed to go. We don't have any of the front stuff done. All the DeSoto stuff is still sitting like right here. And I have to tie these into the fender somehow. You can see this one's missing a whole front chunk. This one I think is good. It would bolt up to the fender like it's supposed to. But we don't have any of that in. We don't have any of the insert in. I still have this like splash apron or something. I wasn't really gonna put it in, but it hides the ugly rack and all that stuff. So when it's in there, you're not gonna see any of that. So it is gonna go back in. But our next mods are gonna be, I guess uh, we're gonna bring this down and extend the grill back a bit. I think an inch, inch and a half. I think that'll complement the way we move our fender and stuff, or by lights, which reminds me, then we're gonna have to change some stuff here and fill. So we'll have to try getting that test fit with the uh, loosey goosey with the hood there. But I think for now, I think this is where we're gonna leave it. What do you say? Do you wanna just go in the house, call her a night? <laughs> Alrighty. All right, folks, I think this is where she's going to stay. I want to uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later. You ready, buddy? Ready to go? All right, bud. Let's call her a night.